This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Jarvis from Microsoft. So Jarvis is a system to connect large language models with ML community. So they have released this paper called Hugging GPT, solving AI tasks with chat GPT and its friends in hugging face. What they say is that language serves as an interface for large language models to connect numerous AI models for solving complicated AI tasks. So if you have some requests like this, please generate an image where a girl is reading a book and her pose is the same as boy in the image example. Okay, there is an example image. Then please describe the new image with your voice. Okay, so there was this, there is this particular example image. Okay, now you have to convert this image to where a girl is reading a book. The pose is same as this boy, right? And also generate an audio describing the image. So how this system works is that uh, it consists of large language model as the controller and numerous expo expert models as collaborative executors. So the large language model is chat GPT. So what they do is that the workflow of the system consists of four stages. They do a task planning use ch chat using chat GPT to analyze the requests of user to understand their intention and disassemble them into possible solvable tasks. So using this text to understand using large language model chat GPT as what are the tasks which are required for this. So the tasks which are required for this is post control, post to image. Okay. Text is a reading girl. All right. Uh, then you have image classification over here. You have image to text, you have text to speech, right. And you have object detection also. Okay. So these are the task dependencies, right? So that is the first stage task planning using chat GPT, right? The next stage is model selection to solve the planet task. Chat GPT selects expert models posted on hugging face based on their text descriptions. Okay. So you have these hugging face models with their text descriptions based on that a certain model will be or a set of models will be selected. Stage three is task execution. Okay. Invokes and executes each selected model and returns the results to chat GPT. Finally, you have response generation using chat GPT to integrate the prediction of all models and generate responses. That is the idea over here. So in this example, okay, in the model selection, it chooses certain models over here, uh, like post control, object detection and image classification, then it executes them. And then it responds, uh, it does response generation. Okay. So this was the input image. It gives an explanation over here. The image you gave me is of boy. The first thing I did was use open CV, open post control model to analyze the pose of the boy in the image. I fed that image specifically located at basically this image into the model, this image into the model, this model to get an output image of the pose, which is this particular located at image. Then I take that pose and generate a new image located at this thing using control net open pose, this particular hugging face model and the instruction a girl is reading. Okay. Based on these two things, this model is generated. Next, I ran an object detection on the image generated in the previous step to get predictions of the objects present in the image, including box location. These predictions were run through Facebook DTR ResNet 101 model. The box was drawn on the image, which is located at this, this image. Then I used the predictions of an image classification model. Okay. Uh, this particular model and an image caption model. Okay. Again, in uh, hugging face, you have a GPT-2 image caption, and this is the VIT base for the image classification to generate the caption for the newly generated image. It generated a text, a girl sitting on a bed, reading a book, and then I converted it into audio. Okay. In this way, this entire request is kind of, you know, 
broken into task models are selected uh, tasks are executed and the response is generated okay so here this large language model which is chat gpt is actually the controller and you have numerous expert models as collaborative executors okay this looks similar in principle to chat gpt plugins where you had these plugins with their descriptions present on how to make use of them and given a task chat gpt could actually decide on which plugin to call and perform the tasks so previously i covered a video on chat plugins where i explained things like given a uh, booking of a ticket and a set of uh, you know a trip planning a trip how chat gpt calls various plugins this looks similar to that in principle okay except that here instead of plugins you have these hugging face models which are present and then it tries to uh, uh, you know call these models instead of apis or chat plugins chat gpt plugins to perform the tasks okay and give a final response right so there are more examples in this particular paper for different kinds of uh, tasks this is the same example um so uh, let's go into some other this thing okay this is an another example of based on post image of this example and the description of example 2 please generate a new one so the task is first you have to get the post out of this you have to generate a description for this right image captioning and then you have to combine them to model the post information and description to generate the final image okay so that is what is the task planning which is done over here open post control get this post for this image generate text for this image and then you do open post text to image using control net basically to generate the this particular image okay so young boy is riding a bike with the basket so basically this is what is generated right in the same post as this one okay so this is like multi model cooperation with resource dependency then there is another example over here uh, generate a video with title astronaut is walking in space and dub it so here it says first it uses text to video model a demo uh, vlab text to video this particular model to generate a video okay the inference result is generated video then it uses text to speech model to generate an audio from this text astronaut is walking in the space and then uh, it combines them to create the dubbed video okay and then it says is there anything else i can help you with okay so here is the task planning text to video text to speech the execution result and then finally combining it okay so here is read the image example jpg for me so there is this image example so it uses microsoft tr ocr and then it reads the text and then converts the text using another audio model okay so this is another example so there are many such examples over here in the paper which talks about you know it can also do named entity recognition it can do visual question answering and so on so i will link in this paper and you can read through it so this is a nice uh, implementation okay looks similar in principle to chat gpt plugins okay except that here all uh, models are uh, you know your hugging face open source models or hugging face models with their descriptions are present okay and that is used for task uh, completion so you can uh, check out this particular uh, repository as well i'll link in the repository as well as the paper uh, i tried running this uh, on a system but yeah you know this 42 gb ram or something was creating an issue for me or i was not able to actually there were some issues in creating the conda environment um, so i couldn't uh, do it maybe in the future if i am successful maybe i'll do a demo video on the same jarvis system i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video